Hello everybody, my name is Nick from Thinkable Creations. So in today's video, I wanted to show a little project I've been working on for the past week, allowing you to combine your Samyang or Rokinon 135 Astro Lens to a ZWO Astro Camera. So this whole project was a suggestion from a customer of mine, uh, Vishal. Uh, I'll link his YouTube channel down below, uh, amazing guy. Um, he ordered one of my Hyperpod 135 uh, lens mounts. So he ordered one of the Hyperpod lens mounts. So this is my whole setup. He ordered one of the lens mounts and also suggested that I make a new adapter because he has the Sony version of this lens. The Sony version of this lens has an extra uh, back focus for Sony mirrorless cameras. So it's pretty much impossible to use anything but a Sony camera on that without doing some kind of modification. My whole mission is to make this lens into a telescope and it's getting really, really far. So the way my adapter works is that you take the existing lens mount out. So in my case, this is the Canon lens mount. I created this adapter to go in the place of both of these. And you'll notice that they are slightly different heights, which I'll go to in a minute. But this will adapt to the lens to be able to go from the lens to an M48 thread. So I have two versions of this adapter, one for a monochrome camera and one for a color camera. This one is the monochrome version. This was a M48 adapter with an added two millimeters of back focus. So I have a whole link uh, to this spreadsheet I have on which adapters and like where you put the filter wheel and the camera and a breakdown of all the different uh, millimeters of like back focus in the different parts. Um, it took me it took me a while, uh, several days to actually figure all that out um, because the back focus on the lens is different than the normal 55 millimeters on a telescope. It's actually 44 millimeters, but for monochrome cameras, it's 45. It's really complicated, but I made it super simple uh, in that PDF down below. So we'll give a little demonstration on how to install one of these, um, but I'll give a breakdown of the color version of this adapter now. So here is my current lens setup. So again, this is the 294 MC Pro. So this is a color astro camera um, and the same Yang lens. Um, I have a couple of the uh, different 3D printed parts I make for the Hyperpod on here. Um, so basically, I'll zoom in and show you. Okay, so I have the back of the lens. So the lens essentially stops right here. This is the uh, f-stop like uh, ring. You can still fully articulate it. It goes the lens to this adapter. This is the color adapter. It's a little bit thicker, again, for the back focal purposes. Uh, then it goes into straight into an M42 adapter that'll come with the camera. So this is the 21 millimeter M42 both sides. And then it goes just to the 11 millimeter spacer into the camera. Um, I tested this last night and I'll put up some images on the screen. It came out perfectly. There's no tilt or weird stars or anything. So I tested it and it sure works, which I'm very, very glad about. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you how to install it. Okay, so this is probably what your lens looks like. So again, this is the Canon version of the lens. And if you have the Sony version, there should be like this extra lens, like hood right here, uh, with like a little um, screw on the side there. You just unscrew that and then take that off. And that'll be the same as like the silver part. So for me, I'm gonna use some really fine screwdrivers. I found the number zero Phillips. Uh, works perfect. So in the Canon version, there are three screws that you have to take off. So you go ahead and take those off. Setting that aside. So now we have this uh, like black piece. This is like a spacer. So some of the cameras are gonna, it's gonna look differently, but it should be underneath, there should be four screws that are connecting this piece to the lens below. Again, you wanna be setting this down on a table um, because otherwise the parts can start falling off and that's definitely not what you wanna happen. Trust me, it happened to me. 
So you go ahead, being very careful, undo these four screws. Before you touch anything on here, this uh, f-stop ring comes off. Do not do that because there's a little tiny uh, BB that actually makes that clicking sound. Um, so do not lift this part up at all because it took me several hours to put this back together. So be very careful uh, when doing this part. These four screws are the ones we're gonna actually use to install the M48 adapter. So now you set this old adapter aside, take the Thinkable Creations one, either if you have the color version, if you have the color adapter, or the M48 monochrome adapter, uh, they both use just those four screws. You might need a pair of tweezers at this point because these screws are very tiny, um, but actually incredibly strong. So you take these tiny little screws and you put them in each of the four screw locations on the adapter. So it goes in and then you might need to uh, kind of twist it or jiggle it so it goes all the way through, all the way down, and do that for all four. Okay, so now that we have all four of the screws on there, this is when we actually attach it to the lens. Okay, so the four spots are gonna be these kind of raised up uh, little parts right here. So this is where we're gonna line it up uh, very carefully, do not raise up that f-stop. And you might need to like angle yourself down to try and look at the side. So you line it up. Just screw in one, just like a half turn, just so you can get it in there and lined up. Go to the other side and start screwing that one in. And then just go back and forth, kind of, you're, kind of like you're changing a tire. Um, you don't want to do all like in a circle, you want to kind of rotate. You don't need to screw them super tight, um, just, just enough. It's not gonna add to the strength of it or anything. If you screw it overly tight, it's just gonna get it stuck. Okay, so it's nice and snug on there. And you notice the f-stop still rotates. Perfect. So now you essentially have a little telescope. So now if you have a color camera, either ZWO or uh, something else. So the adapters you're gonna need, and you can either use the 21 millimeter M42 adapter, or if you have a filter drawer from ZWO, you could swap that out for this adapter. So then you attach the M42 21 millimeter to the just normal 11 millimeter uh, female adapter going onto the camera. So this is what you just go ahead and attach to the lens. And again, you probably just wanna rotate it up and then attach the camera on there, making sure that it's perfectly straight on there. Okay, and then it's nice and snug. Again, you don't need to overly tighten it, you know, um, just enough so it doesn't move. So now you have your camera attached to the lens. Pretty awesome. So now you can attach it to say your hyperpod mount system, link down below. And then you can actually start imaging. Um, and then the monochrome camera is essentially almost the same thing, just a little bit shorter adapter. And then again, I'll have the link in the description on the different spacers and adapters that you can need for the monochrome version, um, but it's very similar. Thank you so much for watching. This is a very cool project. I love making new projects for 3D printing and astrophotography. It's kind of the sweet spot. I kind of got sick of just doing astrophotography. Um, I love 3D printing as well, and when I can combine two of my favorite hobbies, uh, that makes it so much more enjoyable for me, especially knowing that I'm helping some of you um, with your equipment and discovering new abilities that you can do, um, different ways you can explore the universe. So I hope this helps at least some of you. If you guys have any suggestions at all, uh, be sure to email me, comment, or message me on my Etsy shop down below. Um, I am always open to new ideas and new projects, especially cool ones like this. Uh, thank you to Vishal for actually 
uh, inspiring me to make this. Again, thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like and check out my Etsy shop as well as the Hyperpod and everything down below. Uh, thank you all for watching and I hope you all have clear skies.